Simpson for bogey. Scott. Oh, Scott. And his first putt was so good, wasn't it? Uh, good looking putt. He thought he'd uh, made it. I was. Uh, you don't see him. Don't show a lot of emotion. They've all got emotion, obviously. But now, he's left himself uh, still one to be worked on. Drops him to one under, and boy, have we have a change on the leaderboard. Strange and Kite now are your co-leaders at two under. And again, a whole group of people get back into this. And the back nine, where a few of them are now, Chip Beck for one at 12 is just one shot off the lead. Mark McCumber just one shot off the lead. Oh, -ho. this uh, afternoon is going to be very, very interesting. This reminds me of a remark that uh, Kerry Middlecoff made who won the Open here in 56 that the, you don't win the Open, it wins you. Okay, Ozaki to take a share of the lead. As you know, it's Father's Day here. It's Monday in Japan and Sunday in Japan was their Father's Day. in the streets of Tokyo as Osaki now gets a share of the lead with Strange and Kite. We'll return with more golf action from the 89th United States Open Championship after this message and a word from our ABC station. hours we're in for at the 89th United States Open Championship. Twelve players within three shots of each other. And the leaders right now, Ozaki of Japan, Kite of Texas, Strange of Virginia. And now here is Jim McKay of Maryland. Okay. Thank you. Jack Whitaker of Long Island. Yes. There it is visually. Peter Alice with us, of course. Three tied for the lead. And Chip Beck, he's birdied the last two holes at one under, along with Scott Simpson, Larry Nelson, Mark McCumber. Ah, yes. And once again, someone else's disasters make uh, someone else happy. And uh, it certainly has bunched the field up. But when Tom Kite hold that putt, that long putt early on, I thought he was sort of running away with it, but not, uh, not now. We would tell those who uh, have joined us late that at one point, Tom Kite had a three-stroke lead, but then he made seven on the par four hole after going in the water, and it was all up for grabs. There are nine players within two shots right now. Chip Beck. Okay, Chip Beck's playing with Ian Woosnam uh, from Wales, who took six double bogey at the ninth, but he's got a birdie straight away, and he's in it as well. Scott Simpson, second shot on the ninth hole. About 190 yards from the left-hand rough, and he has a kind of a lie. I don't think he has any chance to get the ball to the green. Very sticky lie. Mm. Driving in the rough will definitely catch up with you eventually. Well short, uh, Jim. Yep. Maybe yep. 50 yards short. There we see it. It's the point you made earlier, Peter. 
Got to drive straight if you're going to win the US Open. Well, it's a tremendous asset if, to keep the ball on the fairway because it means that you can you know, usually get on the green, certainly in three. But if you drive it miles in the rough, you've had it. Here's Ozaki, who's really come uh, right bang into the picture now. Joint leader, two under. Par three, 192 yards on the card. Hundred and ninety five yards today. Jumbo hit a four iron. Okay. Sat right down on him. Mm. I would imagine that it's quite a scene in Tokyo where it is now about five minutes past five tomorrow morning. I suspect everybody's up. Yes, and of course if he were to win, what a what a great blow that would be. Larry Nelson, I think Nelson has played uh, was the best golf today, certainly from tee to green. It's even par for the day, one under for the championship, a stroke out of the lead. That's an eight iron from 162. Okay, giving himself another opportunity. Yeah. Time and time again, he's put the ball close. Now live, Curtis Strange, tied for the lead after 29 holes without a birdie. Curtis has 148 with a nine iron. Pretty good lie, ball sitting up. Trying to become the first to successfully defend his U.S. Open title since Ben Hogan in 1951. Just short. That was a good shot from there, Jim. Okay. Now back to Tom Kite. 21 years ago, Lee Trevino became the first to shoot four rounds under 70 in the U.S. Open. Nobody's done it since then. We have Kite is under 70 today he would be the second to do it however at the moment he's three over par for the day so it's not looking too likely yep he is 175 yards from the hole got a drop uh, he was sort of in the right center of the fairway and had to drop it all the way over past the left of the center and into the left part of the fairway uphill into the breeze looking at the ninth from the blimp and now down to ground level again Ready? Keep turning. Keep turning. Okay. Tight steadying. Started off shakily. Made that par on the first hole after being in trouble. Got a birdie. Three shot lead. Met disaster. Now trying to steady and get that lead again. Chip Beck could move into that tie for the lead. Chip, who uh, started the day at one over par, is now one under, two under on today's round. Best seat, he tied for second in this championship. You may have forgotten that, but he did in 1986. So far this year, he hasn't won on the tour, but he was second at Phoenix, second in the Players' Championship. As we look at some other scores, of the 71 who made the cut in the United States Open Championship. Here's Chip. There, if he'd hit it, a good line from quite long range, though, Jim, and uh, good punt. Now, Scott Simpson's third shot on the par four ninth hole. strange well if at first you don't succeed and if 29 times you don't succeed try again but he'd have to put this in the hole for a birdie 29 holes without a birdie and it's time for the lead Jim for Curtis to get the ball this close to the hole after driving in the rough is really taking advantage of the situation okay Jerry see the mud on the ball there. Yep. Jump. Jump Ozaki's long birdie attempt. Uh, 
Curtis's experience of moving into the lead uh, without those birdies shows that par golf will get you almost everywhere in the U.S. Open. They'll usually come back to you. Yeah, here's Nick Faldo, who won the Masters. The Gusta in April, just finishing up. So we'll have to wait another year until someone wins the Grand Slam. That was for a round of 72. Finished at five over par. Now Kite at the ninth hole. Ian Simpson about to make the turn and undertake that long voyage home, the back nine. You leave yourself enough of those you miss one. Yes, it's uh, suddenly it's a big struggle here at the tenth. Larry Nelson. Now he's pl put the ball near the hole a lot of times today. This is a birdie. It's on tape, recorded earlier, and this putt to go. Two under and a share of the lead. Oh. Look how far it's spun mm. away, spinning off the side. Now, I'm going to move along to Mark McCumber on the twelfth fairway. Cumber one under, stroke out of the lead. That's all. 160 yards, he had to play a hook. Up oh, into the rough. We have seven players within one stroke in the U.S. Open. Curtis Strange, he's tied for the lead. Par putt. Yet another par. Jim, that was the most important putt Curtis has had all day. Cool, the cool Virginian. Simpson needing this for the par at nine, or else he's going to drop another one back. At least. Look how far the ball is, is running past the hole, though, Jim. It's uh, quite amazing. And this is a crucial putt for Osaki, who's got himself tied with for the lead. He can keep going now. Who knows what might happen? Oh, yeah. This has got to go in first. All right, well done. He's having a great time out there. Yeah, he certainly is. 42 years old, and this is by far the greatest achievement of his career, although he dominated the Japanese tour last year. Now Simpson needing this for the bogey. It'll drop him back to even par for the championship. Four over for the day. So he makes the turn in 39 strokes, not what he would have wished for. Not after that good start. You know, he started so smoothly. Larry Nelson's putt for a par on tape from 10. Oh, gee. So the bogeys are flying. Well, he had a okay. reasonable putt for a birdie. So oh, he's back putting. to even bar. Yeah, 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 they're all bunching up. It's going to, going to come down to the last handful of holes to see who's who's going to sneak it. About the same kind of a putt here. Ninth for Tom Kite. We now have Strange, Kite, and Ozaki tie for the lead. Those three, followed by Beckett McCumber. And, yes. okay. Oh. Lurking back in the wings are still Simpson, of course, and Larry Nelson at even par, along with Ian Woosnam and young Tom Pernice. They're only two shots out. Well, Tom Pernice has kept going very well, and I'm pleased to see Ian Woosnam, who's is his first U.S. Open. He's, yeah. he's kept going very well. Teed low there. Here's Jumbo on the 12th hole. Really gives it a belt, doesn't he? Check, check. I don't think that's going to bounce and go in the rough. 